Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Leigh Bella Ralston, and welcome back to another fun class here with Faber Castell and Michael Stores. Welcome back to everyone that are my regular students. Hello. And if you are new here, hello. And my name is Slay. I'm also known as Mommy Lay on the internet. I love anything kawaii. So I love colorful art, kawaii um, doodles and lettering as well. So hello, hello and happy Wednesday. Um, back to school. My kids started school. So are you guys back to school? You have one more week, two more weeks um, left, but that is the topic of today's class. We're going to be doing some back to school doodles. Maybe you'd like to personalize your notebooks or you'd like to doodle a little bit, you know, while um, doing something at school and it's totally okay. Did you know that there's a study that when you doodle while listening um, to someone in the middle of a meeting or during a class, you actually retain more information when you're like doodling. And so doodling is my favorite. So even when I'm in the middle of a meeting, I'm like drawing doodling little things. And, and to be honest with you, yes, it, it does really retain more information in my brain. So it's, it's science. So I can't argue with that. Right. Um, but anyways, today we're going to be using some Faber-Castell supplies. If you do not have the exact supplies that I'll be using today. That is totally okay too. So I have some markers. I also have the gold Faber pencils. Um, I'll be using some of my Faber Castell Pit Artist pens as well because sometimes pencil can take a while. It really does give your drawings, your doodles character because it looks so different. You know, the pencil texture, you see it on the paper. And then using some markers, they have different results also. So they can look different, but it just it's just different um, look that it brings to doodles. So if you're using watercolor, watercolors are fine, pencils, markers, or even if you just have a ball pen, a ballpoint pen, that works because we're just going to doodle today, okay? So I have my sketchbook in here. I also pulled out the Kawaii World Kit. Um, this will be available at Michael's very soon, local local stores, some select stores, and also online stores. So here we go. And then I also have some access to the chat menu. So not chat menu to the chat section. So I'll be able to see some of your chat. So before we get started, I'd like to say hello to everybody joining in. Hello, everyone. Hi, Tina. Hi, Mila. Hi, Freya. Hello. Hi, Christy. Hello, Lucy. Hi, Mary. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Emma. Hello, Paula. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in. Okay, so in the Kawaii World Kit, this is, um, I think we've done, we did a class maybe three weeks ago, and we did a little bit of Kawaii doodling, and that's what we're going to create today. So I'm going to pull out the Kawaii World Workbook. And we're going to see if there are like some back to school items in here, which I'm pretty sure it does because I designed it. <laughs> so we have some tablets, you know, we can definitely do that. If you have tablets in school, um, laptops, we're going to do simple doodles today. So I know that some of you are saying, I don't know how to draw, but I commend you for being here today because it means you want to learn. So here we have some art supplies. We have some paint, we have some brushes, we have some watercolor, some inks, pencil. This is definitely what we're going to do. This is our jam today. So we'll definitely do that. We have some happy mail envelopes, old cell phones, laptop computers, this one. So we have more scissors, notebooks. Definitely. We have so much to do. Okay. Are you guys ready? Hello, Norma. Hello, everyone. Hey, Luke. Hi, Benny. Okay. I am going to, because if you have a pencil, you can use pencil. You can also use some marker. Um, the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in black, they come in many different types of tips. So um, I know that we're all different. We have individual preferences that we want when it comes to markers and pens. I personally love brush pens because I love that comic style of doodles. You know that it has like a, a variation of stroke from thin to thick. That is the look that I like. So these are the Pit Artist pens. I don't have all the tips in front of me, but some of them are like fine tips, you know, um, some soft brush, 
the brush. We also have the 1.5, your regular bullet tip, 1.5 bullet tip pen. We might use that today. So, and then I'll get the brush. Also the new ones that are available, it's called Fudenoske. It's the FM. I really, really love this one. So if I have to choose between the brush and the Fudenoske, I'm, I think I like the Fudenoske much better just because it is um, thinner in strokes um, and it's also much easier to handle. So if you're new to brush pens, um, Fudenoske is something that you might really, really like as well. So, okay. All right. So 1.5, when it comes to doodling, doodles are a free flowing type of art. You don't really sketch it. The moment when you start sketching, I feel like um, it's more intentional, but when you're don't, but when you're doing like simple doodles, you use shapes, a lot of shapes. And if you are, if you have attended some of my previous classes before, you've seen me create characters using some simple shapes. And that's what we're going to do today. Kawaii also means cute in um, Japanese. So that's the closest kawaii. Um, and so if you will notice some of my doodles and my drawings, I always put faces in them. I almost treat them like own character. So it doesn't matter if it's like a pen holder like this. I just add like two dots and a smile and it just all of a sudden it's a, not a regular pen holder anymore. All right, let's do something very simple. Very, very simple pencil. How would we draw a pencil right now? We can draw the simple pencil drawing two lines, diagonal lines parallel like this. Do I need to zoom in just a little bit more? Ria is asking, can I use a gel pen? Absolutely, yes. Yes, you can. Um, Julie's asking, can I use a normal fine tip if I don't have one? Absolutely, yes, you can use anything. I'm using a pencil right now, a 2B. So now you have two slightly slanted lines like this. Now we're gonna close the top like that. And I want to show you, why am I having some troubles with my Zoom? And then I want to show you the difference of a simple doodle like this. Now we're going to create like a, a small hump on top like this. That would be our eraser. Okay. And then remember that line that we created, we're going to add another one below it over here. I, I don't know why that. Camera is having some trouble zooming in. Let me like that. We're going to zoom it in. All right. So from here, I'm going to add another line down there. Okay. And then this one, we're going to draw an upside down triangle. Then we're gonna enclose this one for our pencil tip. And then you can shade this part. Like that. Now to give character to our pencil, instead of just one line, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a wiggly line here. So it's almost like up and down and up and down until you reach the other side. Okay, and then you can add some patterns um, in your pencil. You can add polka dots, you can add diagonal stripe lines, um, you can add a heart like this, or you can just make it the regular pencil with some vertical lines like this. And notice how I did broken lines for my straight line for my texture. It's simply because sometimes it adds character to it. And also it's just, it became, um, it became my style just because I didn't know how to draw straight lines. So I was drawing like broken lines and 
I honestly fell in love with that style and it just became my style. And so maybe it's something that you might enjoy too. Now let's turn this simple pencil into a character. Okay. So now this time I want you to make, instead of two very similar lines, we're going to create one that is wider on top and narrow going down to the bottom. And I'm going to use a marker so you guys can see this much, much better because sometimes it's hard to see with a pencil. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to draw it first so you can see it. So you have your pencil wider over there. Now, instead of a straight horizontal, I'm going to make it like slightly just raised in the middle, but very, very slightly. And I mean, just slight, it's almost like, because this is a straight and I just made it where it's like slightly in the middle, just like that, all right? Okay, now we're going to bring this up. We're going to create the eraser part again. Like that. And then I'm going to copy this one. And again, slightly slanted, just like that. Create that first. Create this one. And instead of a pointy tip, I'm going to make it just slightly rounded. And even that is slightly rounded also. Because everything in kawaii is more cuter when you avoid some sharp lines. But again, when it comes to art, art is subjective. So you can choose whichever you want. If you enjoy having those sharp lines by all means, keep doing that. And then what do we need? We need two face. We need two eyes to make a face. So two dots and a little tiny smile. And you have a kawaii pencil. Now we're going to make a partner for our pencil. And we're going to create something very similar, but this time wider. Okay, so let me draw it. I'm going to create a notebook. And notice how still it's slightly wider on top. It's like this. And again, I'm not going to have a sharp line, but I'm going to curve it just slight. Same here at the bottom, just like that. And then I'm going to draw dot one from the top going down. Just like that. And then I'm going to make the rings. To make the rings, I'm going to start from the dots in here and I'm gonna go bring it outside and just like that. So again, start here, go like that, and go like that. Go like that. Now you can make it where this is the cover of the notebook. So you can definitely design this one. You can customize it, you know, with using some colored pencils or using some markers, uh, or you can make this into a notebook where it's already open. And the way I like to do my notebook like this is I copy the composition notebook. I use a very light blue color, and then I would start doing some lines. And again, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. And you just add lines to it. So I use a very, very light blue. Like that. You can use this as a note in your notebook. So kind of like a sticky notes where you can actually write something inside this one. 
to remind you about something. And then I just use a red. And I'm going to grab a, let me see. My zero, I'm going to get my fine tip pen. And then I'm just going to add a face. Like a very calm, kawaii face. Just like that. You know what makes that so much better is when you add blush. <laughs> so just a little oval shape down there. And so how I like to use when I'm doodling something like this in my notepad, I would just put in a header on top and say notes. If you want to make a list then I think this doodle right here is perfect for that. So you can use it to create your doodle, write something inside, make a list. Now to color in your pencil, just grab any color that you'd like. If you wanna do the traditional colors, you can use yellow. And then you can use like a light brown. For this one, and then to create harmony in your doodles. You want to use the same colors. And so like that. Now I'm gonna I want to use the same blue for this part right here. Right. Then you can start adding in your list. Sample, I need milk, eggs, bread, peanut butter, and all that. So that's perfect for doodling in your notebook. It is so, so cute. Okay, so next, let us doodle. So a pencil, a pen, a marker, we're going to start with the same, almost the same, oops, wrong brush. And this time I'm going to use a brush pen so you guys can see. So to create a, let's say a brush, a paintbrush, we're almost going to use the same size of the pen, the pencil, um, but I want to make it just slightly thinner. So I'm going to draw two lines again. But this time, not so wide, but it still goes narrow down in the bottom and then wider on top. Right. And this time, no line, but I'm just going to draw a round to connect this one. Like that. This time, we're going to add that. two horizontal lines. I know I love the brush pen. It is my favorite because it just really does create character to it already without even trying. So the brush pen is my favorite. Right? And then we're going to add the br this brush texture by adding some lines. I'm just following the same line and meeting in the middle. Like that. As you can see, when you're using a brush pen, your strokes will vary depending on the, the amount of pressure you use when you're applying your brush pen. Um, it's not going to do its on its own. You know, it's not like you pick up a brush pen, it's already automatically will be thin to thick when you wish. Now you get that variation of strokes when you go light and use the tip of the pen 
to create a very thin stroke and then apply some pressure and actually use the belly of the brush pan to create a really thick stroke. So I'm gonna go light and then press on my brush to create that thick stroke. So again, use the tip, apply some pressure, use the tip, apply some pressure. So that's how you get the thin and the thick, right? So I really like that one. Now for this brush, I'm gonna go add some diagonal lines inside just to add some texture. And then I'll add some kawaii face, my usual two dot and a letter U, just like that. And then we're gonna use, let's use a pencil so we can see by adding some texture to this. I'm gonna use a purple and then a blue. I'm not gonna color in the whole entire brush. I'm just gonna follow the shape, almost creating like a border because what it does in closing this shape right here within the blue lines, it tells your eyes that, hey, this shape right here, this is white where you can just not color it, but I think adding that blue, it really does make a big difference. Now with the purple, instead of shading it, the whole thing, we're going to do some textures in here. So I'm like doing line, just like this. And then I'm gonna go the opposite. Now, when you buy the Kawaii World Kit, it has a step-by-step -step doodling and also some coloring pages that you can enjoy. Now we're gonna grab some pink for some blush because I cannot, I will not forget my brush. Now you can add some blue in here in between if you want. I'm gonna shade the whole space right there. And then we can use a yellow for this part right here. That looks so cute. You can actually use this like to create like a cover page in your journal or um, in the in the front of your journal to create like um, a name area this book belongs to. Yeah, proportion is something I think proportion is very tricky. That's this is something that I really struggled, you know, when I was just first starting. Um, my tip would be to doodle small. So if you're having issues with, with your doodle or your character being so big, try small, smaller. Um, and then I think you can figure that much better. So if you need to make any changes, it's much smaller. So smaller changes, if you need to erase, if you're using a pencil, then a smaller area to erase and redo again. Um, and then also when it comes to proportion, when it comes to kawaii, again, the first is to make everything look more chubby on the chubby side, because I will show you the difference if we draw the notebook, just a simple straight. I mean, as soon as you put in the kawaii face, you know, it's going to be cute. But the difference is is there. I want you to tell me or choose which one you think you like better because we're all different, you know? So something that I think I like may be something that you don't prefer. Um, so 
well, we're just all very different. So one way doesn't mean the right way. Um, it's just one way. <laughs> That's exactly just what it is. So you can keep trying. Now, when it comes to drawing um, characters with anatomy, with body, then that becomes a bit more um, tricky. Uh, but with kawaii, it's simple because you're using simple lines in kawaii. You're using simple shapes, simple lines to create a character. And we have a class, upcoming class, where we're going to create our own character. We start with different facial expressions. So that's upcoming, maybe September or October. So make sure to um, watch out, okay? All right, so next doodle, what are we gonna do? Simple ones, erasers, where's our book? Let's draw a scissor. Man, this one is a little tricky, but we, we can do it. I think I sketched this one first. <laughs> Let's do a washi tape and a scissor, okay? Because we need to cut the washi tape. So to create the washi tape, we're going to create an oval shape. So I'm going to use a pencil. So just in case I mess up, I can erase it. But it might be a little hard to see. Like that. You know what? I'm just going to use a brush pen. We're going to do this. If it isn't perfect, it's okay. Okay. Let's see. Tina said, I love the rounded notebook. I love the paintbrush. I also made a paint palette and the fan paint paintbrush. Perfect. You guys are way ahead of me. Look at you. Okay. So oval shape like that. All right. And so I want to follow this one part here. So we're going to show just a little bit of that area of that washi tape like that. And this one more. Definitely not proportion. Here we go. That's why we use pencil. Sometimes when I'm doodling and I'm more, the more I make mistakes. Look at this. I'm going to do this fast. And it will be much more better, much better. <laughs> there we go. So we have that. And then this time I'm going to add a line down here and another on the side, almost like parentheses, parentheses. Is that it? Parentheses. See, I'm being careful again. The more I'm careful, I feel like the more I'm careful, the more I make mistakes. It's so funny. So like two sides in there. And then we're going to enclose this one like that this is not doing so well i'm gonna go do it again in a different page try that again keep trying <laughs> keep trying we're gonna draw an oval okay lay we got this i'm gonna follow the same shape Sometimes your brain tells your hand to do something and it does not listen, All right? So we're gonna do that line again. The same line again. Like that. And this is also when you're using traditional media and not digital, you don't have the undo button. You know, you have your eraser or another paper. <laughs> so the more you practice, the more you're actually going to get it. So if that's not perfect, we can do it again. Guess what? Nothing's, and also remember that you can move your canvas around your notebook, you know? So instead of me trying to give myself some cramps in here, I'm gonna adjust my notebook, feels more comfortable for my hand to move around freely. Like this. Like that. 
And then we're going to pretend like there's a washi tape on the other side. And then we're going to Remember what he said, okay, this washi tape will take lots of practice for me. I know that you see third time. I did it three times. And then what we could do is use a fine tip pen to add like a round texture inside to show that there's a lot of folds in here. Now it's either we're going to mess it up or we're going to make it better. We're doodling. This is doodling. We're going free flowing. And we're just going to keep going and just add line inside. Just like that. You know what? That's good. Okay. Now we're going to go designer washi. Maybe we'll make, um, what can we make? What can we add in here? Maybe like hearts inside. Like that. Or polka dot. Like this. I think I did my middle part so wide. Let's try that again. <laughs> this is, this is going to be fun. Imagine now we're doing the scissors. <laughs> this is, we're still in the washi. Good thing we don't have to cut the washi using some scissors. Because <laughs> it's super easy and simple to cut. Why is it not being so nice? I feel like that's much better. And I feel like I need to make it like this more. See where you just curved it just a little bit more, just changes the whole thing too. So the more you doodle, the more you practice, the more you're kind to yourself, you're really just going to have fun with it. The more you're going to learn things. So with, when it comes to proportion, it's just repetition. Repeat, repeat, repeat. I like it. Then you can add your tiny, cute face in there with a washi. Say, hi, I'm a washi. So if it's hard to put a bubble speech in here. And say, hi, I'm a washi tape. <laughs> so people will know that it's a washi. Hi. <laughs> so we can do this for the face too. All right, scissors. Oh, wow, this is going to be fun. Can I use a pencil? Because I'm already going to embarrass myself. All right, we're going to start with, I'm trying, because the way when you're doing work, you know, when I'm drawing something for clients or work stuff, um, you can do it over and over. You can, you know, press the undo button, especially if it's done digitally. And then when you're doing it yourself, you don't think about simple steps, but when you're teaching it, you want to teach it in a way where it's simple and it's easy to grasp, you know? So I'm tr this is what I'm trying to do right now. If you're wondering why I'm explaining that as I'm trying to teach how we're going to draw <laughs> the scissors <laughs> in a very simple way. So I, I guess we can start with the letter V, the obvious one over here, like that in the middle. We can start with a V. And then we can draw the round. And also remember that we're not drawing realistic you know, items, but of course it has to be, um, identified as a scissor. You know, we can't make a scissor where it looks like a fork. <laughs> so we're trying to make as close to real life as possible, but we're adding some cuteness to it because we're drawing something kawaii, right? So we started with the letter V and now we did like a little round on each side and we're going to add some roundness to this side also. Okay, 
Oops, let me zoom in so you can see. Now I zoomed out. Like that, perfect, Emma. Polka dots is my favorite pattern because it's so simple. All right, so from here, we're going to start with this one first. This one is going to be on top. So the way I'm going to bring it down is from the inner letter V. We're going to go bring it like this. And then this one also. So just kind of two parallel lines. Now we're going to add, you hold the scissor. So you have two ovals in there like that. It's not proportion. I feel like I have to adjust that. I already can see it. We'll bring it down like this. All right. And then we're going to add, follow that same shape inside. It's easy when you're like thinking about it, when you're just doing it, but when you're trying to teach <laughs> in a way, so we're going to copy, but do the opposite side. So this one is underneath. So we're going to go on this side and we're going to go bring in to create that same oval shape like this. And then we're going to add the same oval shape inside. And then now you can choose. Sometimes I add heart in there if I'm drawing it like a bigger size to make it even more cuter. Now we're going to draw bigger so you guys can see again do a letter v in the middle right like this like that so you want to bring this down like that okay So it's like a spoon also, right? Like that. And that's another thing. The more you doodle, the more you see, the more you see characters and objects and things like the same. Oh, it's just this shape. So it's just simple lines and simple shapes put together to create and draw these objects. So again, we're going to copy what we did here. We bring this down underneath. Like that. Just like that. Let me add again. Then you can add like pieces of paper just to embellish this doodle, just like that. Like that. Crab's claw, that's right too, Rhea, that's correct. The <laughs> washi tape is easier than the scissor. <laughs> And I was struggling with the washi tape too. <laughs> that was so crazy. Now you can um, draw, color your scissors. You can change this part right here. You can add like that. So you can add some colors. <laughs> We're going to do the letter V. See if I can color this in. And when you add, when you start adding colors to it, then you start bringing your characters to life. It's just so cute. And 
If you use a sticker paper, then you can definitely fuzzy cut, cut around your image and turn them into a sticker if you'd like, you know, so fun. Then you can start coloring it in, like for the washi tape, you can just start adding colors to make it even more cuter. Like that. All right, so let's draw another character. Well, we still have time. I'm gonna go on this side. Now let's draw a, what shall we draw? I love the kawaii world. Let's draw some. We did the paintbrush. I mean, you, you guys get that. Um, let's draw a paint tube, a fan brush. Like, like example, like we create a doodle in here and then we start to letter our name. I think that would be cute to finish this up. Maybe we have, we add an ink bottle in here. Okay. And I'm going to try and go not use a pencil. <laughs> I'm going to braid this out. All right, here we go. All right. Remember when we started the pencil where it's wide on top and it goes narrow at the bottom. That's what we're going to do for the paint tube as well. Okay, so I'm going to go position it. Now, when you're, you're planning your drawings, think of it as, think of it, just kind of envision in your mind how you want your, the placement to be. If you want your name in the middle, if you want to make your doodles almost like a border, or it will almost serve like a frame. If you're trying to frame in a name, a quote, you know, you can definitely do that. Uh, we can make like, um, maybe do a brush over here and a paint tube over here on the top left and make um, an ink bottle in here or the brushes in here, something like that. And then we're gonna enclose it almost kind of like creating a frame and then we can put our name in the middle. So, you know, just an idea for a cover page in your journal or your notebook. Um, all right, so let's do that. Now, if you want to use straight uh, marker right away, you can do so. But if you want to use a pencil, then please feel free to use a pencil first. Lay up so much confidence in it. I do. We can do this. We got this. We got this super, super fun and simple. We got this. Come on. You guys have confidence in me. I do have confidence in you too. I mean, you've seen the washi tape, right? Okay. So we're not, oh yeah, this is going to be on the internet, right? <laughs> All right, we got this. So if you want, maybe we can start with kind of like framing, start with your pencil, just so we can visualize where we want, you know, the placements to be. So definitely I want everything in the middle, but I'm going to just create a sketch of like a rectangle in here. So I know exactly how big my doodles are going to be. All right. Close it. Close it in like that. Okay. So here. Now I can actually make sure that the size of my doodles are perfect. Because sometimes I tend to draw much bigger. I, I, I don't know. I just do. All right, I'm going to use my favorite Fudenosuke pen. It's my favorite. This is the Fudenosuke medium. The Fudenosuke comes in two tips. There's Fudenosuke hard. It's an FH. And then the Fudenosuke medium, it has a more flexible tip, which I really, really love. So, all right. Whew, here we go. We're going to start with a paint tube. Again, wider on top, go skinnier at the bottom. I'm going to start here. Look, it's already big. I knew it. I knew I was going to do this. I have faith in you guys. We can do this. I have faith in myself too. <laughs> now we're going to close this one. Again, if you want to avoid the sharp lines and the straight lines, then just kind of make them slightly curving. You know, curves are beautiful. All right. Then we're going to add this. That, we're going to add three of these. It goes smaller as we go on top, just like that. Okay. And then this time we're going to go and close this one. Let's see how I 
it's not exactly right to the edge. So it's like, zoom out like that. Two lines on the side. We're going to do this one stroke at a time. And then we're going to enclose it again. Just like that. Now we're, we're going to add some stripes, vertical lines, small vertical lines over there. Okay. Now for this one, we're going to pretend like there's a very big plop of paint dripping. So it's almost like a teardrop shape. Okay. So that's the shape that we want. Just like that. Then we're going to add another one on this side, the opposite way. And we're going to add another small one. And then we're going to add, um, we're going to add some paint blobs in here. So to create paint blobs, you can just kind of like do it like this, like wiggly lines. Some are shorter, you know, so kind of like a splatter. Hey, Luke, what's your question, dear? I do not like this part right here, but you know what? We're going to be fine. We're going to add more splatter in there. Then you can add like um, circles, little paints. How are we doing? Just like that. Now for the inside of my paint, I'm just going to add like a rectangle inside, you know, where, for example, the name, the brand or the color of this is going to be there. Luke said, my printing is not perfect. It's okay, darling. We could just keep going. You can practice right now and then you can do it again later. You can watch the replay of the class, you know, um, I mean, you've seen me create my washi tape. Definitely was not perfect the first time, um, but it's okay. Just keep practicing. Okay, I just added. Now we're going to add some smile, cutie face in here. Just like that. Right. So now we have one paint tube in there. And then next. What should we add beside the paint? I think this is where we should add a paintbrush. Now, you can add the paintbrush where it's the brush is on top because we've done, we did earlier the one where the brush is facing down. So this time we're going to do where the brush is actually facing up. So just the opposite. We're going to do narrow in there. It's wider in here. Like this, like that. And then we're going to add the two lines. Okay. And then close that in. So if you want a fan brush, you just add like a wide, like this. And then on the other side. Notice how I am avoiding straight lines, right? So there's not a whole lot of straight lines in here, except for when I'm drawing like textures inside my doodles like this. But to enclose anything, everything is slightly rounded, slightly curving, it just makes everything much cuter. And this time we're gonna add a cute face. I love adding lashes in there. 
It's just a little addition. So cute. My goodness. And I'm going to draw a sketchbook here on this side. Okay, where it's almost like tilting to the right. So the way we did our notebook earlier, I'm just going to, oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Again, narrow there on top. I mean, sorry, wider on top. I'm going to close this in. And then this time, instead of my spiral on the side, I want to do it where it's on top. And so the same thing, we're going to add those little dots instead of the left side, we're just adding it on top, right? Like that. Okay. And then same, start from the inside of my dots, just adding in my spiral bound. Just like that. And now just two diagonal lines parallel, like a little rec little square on the inside. Oh, rectangle square, still a square. And then we're gonna add some ice. So two lines, dash lines like that. We're going to add a circle on the left. And then we're not going to shade the whole area. I'm going to leave a little tiny part for the white negative space inside. Or if you have like a white pen, then you can just shade all area in and then just add a white small dot for that eye. We're going to add big mouth and shade the top part. Just like that. <laughs> so cute. Okay. And then I'm going to add a small pencil beside it. Now we've made our pencil already. So you know what to do. Eraser. Pencil tip, wiggly lines, and then stripes, just like that. Um, we're almost done, Julie. Now I'm just going to add some strokes like that. All right. Oh, water jar. Look is asking for a water jar. Okay, let's add a little small tiny jar in here. So I want to add a small jar, kind of like how we did my notebook. So I'm just going to draw two like that. And then close it in like this. All right. Close this part. That. We add lines on the inside. That. Now for the water inside, I'm not going to put any more brush in here, just some water. I'm just going to go copy the same rectangle, but inside, we're going to draw inside. So just this first like that. And then I'm going to go close this in. And then we're just going to add some wave. There we go. And then you can add your face. You can add some teardrop shape just to kind of show some water splatter. Just like that. But this is all most done. This is done. Now, if you want to enclose your frame, what I would suggest, maybe use some dots or some dashed lines, kind of like stitching pattern. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go 
follow the shape that I created. It's not going to be perfect and it's okay. We're just going to go follow in. I'm gonna, not going to add those lines inside my doodles. So only outside. So just small dashed lines. Just like that. Now you have a project later. You want to make sure that you color this in because it's going to be so much better with color. I'm trying to find my blue marker. I can't. So I'm going to use my purple. Now you can add this notebook belongs to. That's where you're going to add that part. And then you want to make sure that you write your name. I'm going to put my name to finish our class. There we go. All in all my sketchbooks and my journals, I always put in, if found, please return to, because you just never know, you know? So I just like to leave my, um, my email just in case I leave it anywhere. But this is, this is what we created. Look how simple, look how, look how fun, you know? I think that's the, the best part is that how much fun you're having while creating these, this, um, these characters, these kawaii objects. It's just so much fun. Then I just cleared out, cleaned out some of my sketch, but <laughs> yes, it's so easy and fun. The more we do it, I mean, next thing you know, you'll be teaching the class. I hope not. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining in. Um, we would like to invite everyone to please do give us a follow on social media at Faber Castell USA. And of course, to stay updated for um, with the next class, um, make sure to visit Michael's um, website under classes and events. And I'm also on social media. I'd love to stay in touch. Um, it's at mommy lay. So I hope to see you there. If you have any questions that I may have not um, had the chance to answer in this class, please do send me an email or reach out to me on social media. I'd be happy to help. Um, but Welcome back to school students and to all our educators. Thank you so much for all that you do for our kiddos. So thank you for being the second parents in school. So we appreciate you. Thank you all so much for joining in. I hope to see you again next week. Same time, five o'clock central standard time. Stay creative and stay happy. Bye everyone. Bye.